Thatcher, you go from not having an NHL start for six months to making 90 saves in 72 hours. How do you feel right now? How do you manage that, especially with uh, game seven on the second leg of back-to-backs coming up? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to come in and try to help out any way I could. Um, you know, we are down 3-1. Our goal is to, to win one game at a time and eventually get to a game seven, which we've done. So uh, all the focus is shifting to tomorrow night. Jim Matheson, Post Media. How difficult is it to to hold a one goal lead this when the goal scored so early in the game before your team uh, breaks it open in the third? Let me hear you. Really? Sorry, he didn't tell. For Thatcher. Thatcher. Um, I mean, my job's the same regardless of the score. So um, I don't know. <laughs> Just trying to. Keep the pucks out of that. You know, it doesn't matter if it's one nothing, if we're down one nothing, up by three, doesn't matter. So, um, you know, just trying to hold the team, uh, you know, make the saves I have to make to, to make sure that they can, you know, find a way to win. Take a couple more in the media center from Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. Thought you, you looked like you could have used a dose of oxygen there near, near the end. Uh, having not played in so long and then uh, to play the way you're playing now, just Physically, uh, w- what is the challenge? How big is the challenge physically? I feel great. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I don't have any complaints for you. Um, I mean, obviously, if they have a long you know, shift in the zone, I'm going to be, you know, catch my breath a little bit, but I uh, feel great. And JT, you've obviously been on teams, uh, really strong teams that have had playoff runs and, and played from behind in series. Is there anything special about the group that you're on right now? Because I don't think a lot of people thought when it was 3-1 that we would be here talking about a game seven. Is there anything special about this group? Yeah, I think uh, there's no quit. I think we've showed that all year. Um, obviously, Denver's playing unreal and giving us a chance to win. And, um, you know, we're coming up big at the right time right now. You know, they throw a lot of pucks at the net. You know, they have a good possession in zone. You know, they're a hard team to play against, but, you know, I think we are too. And, um, you know, that's, you know, it says a lot about a group. We could have easily rolled over. It's, it's not the same as when you have a normal, you know, fan base in the game, you know, you're down three, one, it's pretty quiet in the rink. It's, you know, it's easy to want to quit and go home, but we're, we're here for one reason. And, um, you know, I don't think we really care about what anybody else thinks. I think we're going to be ready to play tomorrow. Farhan Lalji, TSN. JT, I'll, actually, I could ask both of you, both start with you, JT, just the commitment you guys had around your net, just in terms of blocking shots, clearing attempts, there weren't as many second chances as there maybe were uh, in game five. Just uh, you talk a bit about that commitment in those areas. Yeah, we talk a lot about defending the middle of the ice. Um, you know, we always try to funnel back to that area. You know, that's probably the reason why they have a lot of end zone time and you got a lot of shots from the top and, you know, they're taking a lot of one timers, but you know, we do a good job of being in the middle of the ice, try to limit the amount of great A's that we're giving up. Um, you know, and every time we have so far, you know, in the last couple of games, at least Denver's been there to shut the door. So, um, you know, we take a lot of pride in that area of ice, you know, especially on the, uh, the penalty kill as well. And, you know, right now we're, like I said, the shot totals are pretty high, but, you know, I don't think the great A's have been, you know, too crazy. So um, we take a lot of pride in that area. Patrick Johnston, Post Media. Uh, JT, just on your goal and on Quinn's goal, it felt a bit like uh, a case of sometimes you just got to get the puck on net. Was it, was that a fair assessment? Yeah, we, there's not a lot of time in there, and they expand quickly. And I was already thinking about just turning and shooting. You know, it's up by a goal in the third. Um, anything could happen. Obviously, Petey did a hell, hell, heck of a job going to the net there. I don't know if he saw much. Um, the goalie saw much of my shot, but found a way to go in. And, you know, it's kind of plays like that, especially in the playoffs. You know, they, you know, they got to me quickly to try to get it off my stick. And, uh, you know, Huggies goal was huge. Um, you know, that felt really good. Three goal lead in the third period in game six is a big spot to be in. So um, it's good that we stepped up at the right time, I guess. Greg Wyshynski, ESPN. Thanks a lot. Hey, Thatcher, I know you said you, you felt good. Um, but I was wondering, when you go back to back, what, what changes for you process-wise uh, as far as, you know, the physical preparation for the next start, the mental preparation for the next start? When you go back to back, does that, does that change at all for you routine-wise? Um, no, I mean, I think the only difference would be I probably won't skate tomorrow morning, but, um, yeah, I mean, guys have been playing back-to-backs, you know, I mean, that's how college was for me. Uh, every weekend was a back-to-back and, 
you know, through pro, I think every guy's played back to back several times. So uh, it's nothing new for, for anyone really in pro hockey. And uh, we just got to prepare the same way. You know, maybe guys might be a little bit tired, but once the game starts, you know, guys will be feeling it and, and they'll get into it. Take the next one from Ben Kuzma, Post Media. Hey, a question for JT. I just want to get back to your goal and the symmetry there. I mean, it's not the first time you've seen Hughes wheel down the left side and go all the way around the net and then look for you and then to have somebody go to the net. To have Hughes be able to do that, find you, and have Elias set a screen like that and take away Leonard's eyes, how important will that kind of play be tomorrow night? Uh, totally. You know, we try to get to plays like that a lot. They're just, you know, they defend really well and they play really well in their structure and expand quickly and don't allow a whole lot of time to get shots off in that, you know, I don't know how in, inside I was, if I even was. So it's, it's hard for those to plays to happen, but I'm just trying to make myself available. You know, Huggy, when he gets down there, I know he's looking to make a pass versus shoot. So I'm just trying to find some open ice and, you know, Petey kind of makes the whole, you know, the whole play happen. I don't think the goalie saw a whole lot. So, um, like I said, it was a good play. It's a big time in the game to get a goal. And, uh, you know, we need – obviously need to take those plays in tomorrow. Brennan Batchelor, Sportsnet. Thatcher, uh, what time did you go to bed last night? <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe 10, 10.30, 10.45. I don't, know. I don't really remember. <laughs> take a couple more for the guys. Jeff Patterson, TSN 10.40. Hey, JT, you've been through the battles, uh, Game 7s in the National Hockey League. We always talk about this young group. You guys have staved off elimination twice. Does anything change uh, going into a Game 7, one-game winner-take-all? Well, we've been doing a good job of taking it game by game, just focus on the game we're playing. Um, nothing more exciting than Game 7. You know, this is uh, – this is what I think everybody, you know, preps for the whole season or games like this a chance to go play in the conference finals. You know, this is our third round really already, you know, we're so excited for this opportunity and I still think we have, you know, for a 60 minute effort, I think we have a little, you know, a little better, uh, a little more offensive zone time, obviously you get, you know, the shot totals, you can see they're spending more time in the zone than we are. So I think we have another gear yet, but I think winning games like this is going to help us get to that level. Um, you know, we have a lot of confidence right now and uh, I think we should, so we're excited. Take the last question for the guys, Mike Morreale, NHL.com. Hey, Thatcher, I know you must be pretty tired right now, but, but how excited are you to help this team get to a seventh game with these performances and now having a chance to play in a game seven in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Yeah, I mean, uh, just wanted to be ready. And obviously I knew the circumstance when I came in, I uh, got the call and, um, you know, I just wanted to help, help the team win any way I could. And, uh, I feel good. Feel feel ready to go uh, for tomorrow. You know, obviously, like you said, it's a big game seven. Uh, JT mentioned it too. You know, this is what you want to play, the game you want to play in all year. And you know, as a kid, you you kind of look at game sevens, watching game sevens as a kid, and you're you're envisioning yourself in those games. So, um, just really excited for tomorrow, and and I know our group will be ready.